Hi guys, it's David August University here. Hopefully the volume's all right. Um, just wanted to do a quick video for you guys. I'm just here in this uh, the lounge room of my place. Um, just looking to get some studying done, some productivity done. It's been literally a nightmare. Uh, a blessing, of course, but a little bit of a nightmare to try to get organized with uh, productivity, my YouTube channel, work, studying, plus also uh, doing my response, how, taking care of my responsibilities as a father um, as well. So just trying to balance everything out lately. I know I haven't been uh, updating my videos as often as I would like, as often as I should. So I just want to, while I'm hanging out here, while I'm doing the study, get some content out for you guys. And I just want to talk about um, the markets um, and basically some things I've been uh, trying to work on uh, as of recently. So I kind of fell off of um, utilizing motivational content and, um, you know, positivity when it comes to like books and reading and utilizing one of my favorite things to do is audiobooks. So I fell away from like some of my mentors like Ty Lopez and Greg Cardone and um, some other positive influ influences um, that I require in my life to kind of push me forward and uh, not just kind of focus on my own small world, as in, you know, family, work, business, um, and my studies. But, you know, I didn't look at the big picture and I stopped looking at motivational content while driving. I was listening to music again. Um, so I wanted to get back to that and getting back to listening to audiobooks again, like, for example, the 10 actual with Greg Cardone talking about setting massive levels of action and massive goals to accomplish what I want in my life. And it made me reflect back on what I'm looking to accomplish in my life. So, yes, I'm taking a real estate program. Uh, I'm looking to uh, finish that and then um, get fully licensed and then start making some uh, building my business and making some larger commissions because long term, other than, you know, cryptocurrency, affiliate marketing, things that I've been doing online over the last few years, I'm looking to get some larger, um, larger aspects of income so that I can build wealth in my portfolio, but also build wealth um, when it comes to my own personal salary, et cetera, so that I, I can invest into things like that I would like to in long term. Like when I, when I think of retirement, when I think of a perfect world, I'd like to have multiple um, multiple units when it comes to multifamily uh, apartment complexes. I'd like to have multiple properties, um, you know, a big, large, beautiful home, all these different things I would like. Um, but with market changes, it becomes harder and harder and harder to uh, attain these things. So I'm not here to wait for, you know, one of my cryptocurrencies to 100x, 1,000x, um, like we all want to happen. In, in a bull market, it very much can happen. But, you know, obviously I'm a big believer in cryptocurrency like Ethereum, Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X. If you guys follow me here on my channel, those are huge factors for me. But we can't become dependent and complacent on these investments because, you know, it can go 90%, negative 90%, negative 98% overnight. Or we can also, you know, have a certain small small bag here, small investment, and it can also 100x or 1,000x. So things can happen so quickly, but we don't want to depend on that only. So that's what got me thinking of, you know, what do I really want to do? When I'm 60 years old, 70 years old, I want to look back at what I accomplished. So that's why I'm getting back to this positive mindset stuff. Uh, and I'm going to try to have some more content out for you guys more regularly, not just uh, cryptocurrency updates, not just reviews on products, but lifestyle stuff as well. So I've been focusing on personal development stuff again. So audiobooks, physical books, also um, spending some time to myself outside of being a father, having to make sure I spend that hour, two hours to myself so that I can't work on my, on my personal development, my fitness, etc. Uh, so I can reach and accomplish my goals. So those are, that's, those are the big things, the key takeaways. Some books I recommend would be 10X Rule, um, you know, 
What's another Grant Cardone one? Um, be Obsessed or Be Average is what I was looking for. And the Millionaire Booklet. Those are all Grant Cardone books. Um, but there's a whole list of books that you can go through as well. But these are some of my favorite audio books. So I just want to let you guys know what I've been working on. Uh, other than, uh, you know, some real estate, a huge real estate book that I'm studying. I haven't been literally in school for such a long time that it's been weird for me to get back to a physical book, get back to the um, educating myself and writing exams, etc. So just let you know, that's what I'm working on, guys. And on my channel, I promise that I will uh, look to get more content out for you guys. Um, my channel is August University, so I want to make sure that I am helping you guys, teaching you guys, and sharing my journey in life. I'm not going to say it's been an easy couple of years because it hasn't been. You know, I'm a father of three children and two little ones, littler ones, so it is challenging um, getting things done, being productive. Uh, mental health is, is always an ongoing thing, but just letting you guys know I am pushing forward, moving forward, and um, you know, moving towards my goals. So you know, make sure you guys set some goals for yourself. Make sure you spend some time. I say this again and again, but um, health, wealth, love, and happiness are some of the key factors uh, that I learned from Ty Lopez to make a, a perfect world, a perfect life, to live the good life that you want to eventually. So make sure you have to have a balance of all these things because if you're super wealthy but not healthy, it's not really going to help you. Uh, you're not going to be able to keep your wealth. But uh, you got to have happiness too, so you got to keep yourself entertained, but you also got to be with people that um, you can feel love from so that you can stay positive as well. Um, so yeah, these are just things to think about, guys. And I just want to have a quick video for you guys about basically, um, you know, just being around positive things and focusing yourself and refreshing yourself again so that you can be productive this year, this month, this lifetime. All right, guys? When it comes to the crypto markets, you know, I can't say that I really see that it's going to be bullish anytime soon. My thought is... Will we see a Bitcoin at 150,000? Yes. Will we see it uh, this year? Probably not. I'm thinking we might get bullish again, maybe end of the year to next year. So that's why it's important that we get these income skill sets, these businesses off the ground, so that we have additional income and not just to be, be not just be dependent on our crypto uh, gains and investments. Okay. So that's all I want to say today, guys. Stay positive. Work on uh, personal development. Keep yourself in the game. Keep yourself mentally focused and physically focused. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my channel. So even though the markets are down, um, there's still ways to be productive. And do not just sit on your bags and wait. Take action. Take massive action. Set up yourself, yourself for goals and success. And even if you're not happy with where you're at right now, um, know that things can get better. Know that, uh, you know, have a picture in your mind of where you want to be and then start working towards those things. All right. When you wake up in the morning before you go to bed uh, and make sure you get your rest as well. So this is David. I just want to give you guys kind of a positive uh, video here and just give you guys some transparency and what's going on in my life. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can be here to support or help anybody on my channel here as well. Um, I know it's, you know, men's mental health is always a big concern. So never feel like you don't have anyone. Never feel like you can't reach out to anyone. You can always comment down below in this video. And I always uh, try my best to respond as well. If anyone needs to, uh, any help on how to, you know, mark yourself online um, or build a brand on, of their own online, please let me know and I can uh, do my best to help you out. And uh, yeah, that's all I want to say today, guys. Stay focused on your. Like I said, mental health, positive uh, physical health. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Stay bullish, guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.